Coming up, the Bird family volunteers to work on a farm, an underwater farm. Welcome to Jonathan Bird's Blue World. A few years ago, we visited Ken Niedemeyer and the Coral Restoration Foundation in the Florida Keys, where they're farming coral to replenish damaged reefs. Turns out the operation is so successful, they decided to open another one here on Bonaire. Bonaire is a territory of the Netherlands located in the Southern Caribbean Sea just off the coast of Venezuela. It's a warm tropical place surrounded by beautiful blue water known as one of the best scuba diving destinations in the Caribbean. But like much of the Caribbean, the population of some species of shallow water corals here on Bonaire has been damaged in the past. The Coral Restoration Foundation established an operation here on Bonaire, headquartered at Buddy Dive Resort, with a coral farm just offshore. I drop in to meet the director, Francesca Verdes, who explains why they built a coral farm here on Bonaire. Because even if Bonaire is famous to have probably one of the best and most pristine reef in the Caribbean, our corals are suffering as well, in particular two species of corals. They are endangered, so they are protected at international level, and they are staghorn and acorn coral. And so that's why we farm them, because there is the need to restore their population. Since the operation always needs volunteers to help out, my family and I are volunteering our day to do some work on the underwater farm. We clean from the algae, top, bottom, front, and back and then we have the trunk all that so and you have you might have some tags and labels it's good to clean them as well so we're always able to read it christine heads to the dive shop for some tanks because today's work will be underwater next we load our gear on the boat and meet captain augusto okay. Fortunately, Elise remembers the camera. We get some last minute instructions and then we're off. Along the way, we assemble our gear. Elise, Liam, Christine, and I hit the water and we're ready to be a professional underwater farmhand team. Francesca takes us down to the far end of the farm, which consists of plastic trees holding small living pieces of coral. The trees are anchored into the seafloor and held up by floats. The coral is just tied with fishing line. Eventually, the coral grows over the knot. Each tree is labeled and recorded so the exact age and growth rates can be tracked. But it's a constant battle with algae which grows readily on the plastic trees and then works its way down the fishing line trying to smother the coral. Soon the kids are scrubbing the coral trees clean of algae. If you have to work on a farm, doing it underwater certainly adds some fun. Christine's trying to keep up with the kids and even the fish join in. Tangs are a kind of fish that survive by foraging for algae. They're critical to protecting the reef from algae on the coral. And so here on the farm, they're a welcome guest. If only the kids would put this much effort into their chores. Liam is exhibiting perfect buoyancy control as he focuses on the job. And after an hour of solid work, we finish when our scuba tanks are getting low and head back to the boat. 
With a fresh set of scuba tanks, Francesca takes us over to see a section of reef that has been replanted. All of this healthy staghorn coral was planted only three years ago. Already it has grown a meter tall. Individual stands of coral are tracked with little tags, so this coral can be traced all the way back to the individual tree on which it was grown. After our tour, it's time to head back to the boat. just looks incredibly happy. It's taken over down there. Back at the classroom, a local school group is visiting on a field trip to learn about coral reefs and how the coral farm works. Then they grab some snorkel gear to get a tour of one of the close transplant sites. It's shallow enough that they can see it from the surface. And they also get to see some of the local marine life. Coral reefs are an essential part of the tropical ocean ecosystem. Coral farming provides a new way to help repair reefs that have been damaged by storms or human impact. As the technology develops, perhaps other kinds of coral could be farmed as well. And these developments are made possible by people who study the life in the ocean and seek to protect it. It's a great story of success in the blue world. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our latest episode all the way to the end. You're crazy if you don't subscribe. Hit that subscribe button now so you won't miss our next episode. And check out our merch link in the description for some Blue World swag.